Hey y'all, um, it's me. I am headed into the mall. Can y'all hear and see the rain? <clears throat> I ordered <clears throat> um, some stuff from, from Express. I'm gonna have to show y'all when I get home uh, sometime this weekend. I'll show you guys the stuff that I purchased from, I got from Express and I got from, um, what's the other place? fashion over this is a t-shirt well it's not cotton but it's a t-shirt there is classified as a t-shirt um that i got from express that i freaking loved it's soft it's not see-through um i'm so in love with the color i can't remember what the name of this color is but for anyone who's interested i will try to remember to link it in the description but um, I had ordered because I had a sale and um, I told y'all I'm paying full price for clothes. Like I'll I'll go to Louis Vuitton, no problem, I, you know, but shoot, I mean clothes, I'm not, fa I'm not paying full price, sorry. Um, because I get over stuff really quickly. I'm looking at my hands because I just ate and I don't want to, um, but anyway, so I thought this was the same shirt, right? But it isn't. This is more of a polyester what is this this is oh lord oh literally it what it has no description oh wait, i'm lying uh yeah it's polyester ain't nobody got time for this so i thought i was ordering this again and this color is called sand but it's not i hate the fabric so um i'm hoping i can just get exchange it for another one of these and then i got these satin joggers oh so they're really really cute but look how big they are huge they're satin and they have um the cuff at the bottom wait that's not considered a cuff what is this called at the bottom the whatever it's called um but they're huge um i got them in an extra large because that's what i typically wear but you guys know that i have been on this weight loss journey and even though i haven't dropped that much weight you know according to the scale i have dropped like two dress sizes so in my mind because i've only the scale only says the scale says i've only lost seven pounds in my mind, I'm still the same size that I was, but I'm not. So I keep ordering stuff according to where I was two dress sizes ago. So I got these in the extra large because that's what I would typically wear. Um, and these were regular $70. I got them for $15, $15, but they're too big. I really doubt, highly doubt, that they have them in store. But if they do, I'm just going to exchange them for a large. <sighs> but if they don't have them, probably just gonna keep them and have them altered because I really like them. They're really, really cute. <clears throat> so I am sitting in my car because um, it's raining. And then somebody wanted a reading and it's like a really quick um, one question reading. And I have cards in my car because I'm always prepared. Um, but I was trying to wait for him to send the donation, but he has not done that. So I'm going to go. I'm not going to just sit here and wait. Um, so, yeah, the weather here is crazy. I, when I say crazy, it is insane. I'm trying to get my um my umbrella. Um, but yeah, the weather here is stupid. It was like 50 something degrees this morning. Mind you, this is a mid-April, right? In Houston, Texas. Usually, hold on, I shouldn't have put that gun in my mouth, huh? Mm. It would not be this warm. Um, I mean, it's cool. Excuse me. It would be a lot warmer. Um, so it's cold. It's cool. Well, it's it's warmed up a lot. Um, since this morning, but 
we actually yeah, the kids had to actually wear jackets out it's 63 now but it's very muggy typical houston weather um raining in the wind girl the wind is horrible <laughs> the wind is absolutely horrible earlier it was so bad that it looked like there was a tornado outside it was that strong so anyway i'm gonna go because i don't see any cash apps coming through so i'm gonna go ahead and go and uh try to exchange these two things y'all know i can't stand going to the mall going into the mall i don't like nothing about the mall um but yeah i'm gonna run in here try to exchange these two things and then i'm gonna go back home um yeah go back home and try to get some work done it's saturday i'm really trying to get to the point where i'm not having to like work work on the weekend but it's always something to do um but yeah that's pretty much i don't think i need to unveil at this moment but i'm gonna get my target bag um yeah so anyway when i get back home it'll probably be the next clip will probably be the next day or so but i'm gonna show you guys um everything that i got it's mostly shirts that i got from fashion nova and them uh, but yeah let me go into this oh, tell y'all something this mall <coughs> is packed it don't make no freaking sense how packed this mall is and i just could not wait to get out of there Ooh, it's way too many people so i did make it into express um i had also gone to um, where did I go? I went into Macy's. I was trying to go into Dillard's, but it was too far of a walk. It was ridiculous. But that mall was crazy. <sighs> and um, I've told y'all before, I don't like being around a bunch of people. It just triggers my anxiety. And the energy, ew, I just don't like it. And then, you know who outside, so... Um, anyway, so the shirts, I did find another one. I got it in, whose hair? Ew. <coughs> um, this color, so it's the same shirt that I have on, but in this color. This is more of a taupey. Of course, they don't have, they don't have, hold on, because I know this is blowing right now. Um, they don't have the colors. Oof, my nails are dirty. I ate um, some crawfish that were disgusting and um my nails are dirty but anyway so this is the color that i that i got they also had a chocolate brown but they didn't have it in my size so i'm gonna have to check because they have it in this color this color chocolate brown and i want to say like a sand not quite i think they have it in white yep they have it in white i think they have it in like an off whitish color and then more of a mauve color i didn't want that um but i do want it in the off-whitish sand and then i got these joggers here um these are only like 20 bucks so i did get these in a large she did place an order for the other joggers uh, for me uh, this is what the bottom looks like um so she ordered the black ones in a large for me um y'all so these are like 70 bucks regular price but um yeah these were 70 also i got these for 20 and the other ones i told y'all were 15 so yeah i like y'all know this is my my color my color wheel is neutral so yeah anyway that's that on that so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm parked oh, i'm gonna watch my bag right when i was walking into the mall uh, oh, I hate to be this person. I hate to be this person, but I'm this person. 
um, there was like a group of guys just standing right outside of the entry and they were smoking and they were being all loud and I'm like, oh God. So thankfully, um, there was this couple walking in behind me cause I definitely did not feel okay with, you know, like they just huddled, they're huddled and just cursing and just being loud and oh, that's why I don't come here. So I do not come to this mall because these people are not civilized at all. Um, I like to go to Market Street, which I showed y'all. People are way more civilized over there. Over here, no. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go. Like I said, when I come back, I will show you guys um, the shirts and stuff that I've gotten as of late. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not doing anything today. I'm about to go back home wash my face take a bath get comfortable and um relax the rest of the day tomorrow is sunday i have um what do i have i have a, a coaching session with my mentee and then um so today i don't know if i told you but today i took my daughter my seven-year-old and my 11 year old went to but it was my seven-year-old's friend's birthday party and it was at a skate, a skating rink. Uh, so it was very loud, um, but they had fun, which is all that matters. Um, everybody was super sweet. I just like meeting kind people. You know what I'm saying? People who are just friendly, you know, who don't give a damn what you look like, what color your skin is, you know, because uh, my daughter's friend, she is not African-American um and i just really really dislike the fact that this is the climate that we live in you know what i mean you have to wonder if what are the parents because our daughters had never met before they they were zoom classmates right um so that this was their first time meeting in person and you know i had never met their parents but their parents actually live like two streets over from us um so we live in the same neighborhood um but you just it's always in the back of your mind like what are these people going to think are they okay with it and it's it's just so freaking sad but that thought flew across my mind like okay are these people cool because i knew the little girl wasn't uh, black um but are the are her parents going to be cool with my little black girl you know what i mean uh parents super cool totally uh welcoming uh talking to us like we had known each other for lifetimes like really really cool turns out that the mother is half hispanic so she one of the sisters <laughs> um but anyway so really really nice people uh it was a mixed group of kids you had the caucasian kids hispanic kids black kids so that was refreshing to see because you just nowadays you just don't know you just really really don't know so um the little girl's mother and i we both work from, work from home so we're gonna go on a coffee date um and work uh she is a uh, mary Kay director i don't know what that means but i'm assuming she's pretty high up in mary Kay because she drives a pink cadillac okay and you know you had to make some coin for Mary Kay to get that Cadillac and she says she's been doing it for 10 years so um anyway so soon we'll be uh chopping it up at Starbucks she said Starbucks and I have another meeting at Starbucks on Tuesday but when does Starbucks open for dining in are they open for dining in I, don't, I guess we'll see now won't we but um yeah so anyway uh, let me do this reading let me get home get out this raggedy ass parking lot um and i'll talk to you guys in a second also before i forget i want to mention um the necklace that i'm wearing because i know somebody's gonna ask somebody's going to ask so what this is is a louis vuitton lock okay you'll see that you'll see the lv it's a louis vuitton lock these locks come on select handbags okay um and most of the time 
people don't really use these locks they don't put them on their handbags because they're so heavy it's very very heavy and it can stretch out the leather um so i i've i've always wanted a necklace with a um a lock a lock pendant and i've never been able to find one that i really love so ding 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 i was like well i have this lock that i don't necessarily want to put on my handbag for what um so let me turn this into a beautiful statement piece so i got this um necklace from amazon y'all know i got it from amazon from amazon for twenty dollars and um ultimately i want to get the same i think this is more cuban linkish right um the same style but in 14 karat or 18 karat gold um definitely on the lookout on the lookout for one of those because i want something that's real um because god this will probably be faded by you know next month um but yeah so that's what this is y'all because i know somebody's gonna ask where'd you get your necklace from this is a diy necklace um fyi you do not have to have or purchase a louis vuitton um bag to get this lock okay so if you're not into louis vuitton or you don't have um, the handbags that these locks come with you can actually uh, the safest thing I would say to do is join, there's a Facebook group, it's called, if I remember, I'll link it in the description, but I want to say it's like Louis Vuitton, obsessed, obsessed with Louis Vuitton or something like that. It's a huge Facebook group. You join that Facebook group, the admins are really, really good um, at... <clears throat> Uh, I mean, they do their best to make sure that people who are in there selling are selling authentic um, pieces and whatnot. And there are people who sell just the locks, okay? Um, so if you're interested, uh, you can also check Etsy and eBay. I don't know how real those are gonna be, but I know in the group, you have a really good chance of getting an authentic lock and key. Um, I don't have the keys with me, but it does come with two keys. Um, but if you join that Facebook group, you can just kind of search your group um, and ask if someone has one. They, I see people selling them all the time. Uh, so yeah, you can get it for like less than $100. Uh, the price is gonna vary obviously, but you can get it for less than $100 and get your little cheap necklace or if you already have a necklace, uh, whatever. But I just want to tell y'all that for those who I know were going to ask and um, Yes, I'm still sitting in the car. Um, I'm outside of Target and I know doggone well, I don't need to go in freaking Target. I mean, I do have a couple of things I need to return, some ink pens and all this lip, this NYX lip. Um, I thought it was like a matte, but it's a gloss and I don't need it. So I'm sitting out here debating whether or not I really want to go into Target because every time I go into Target, I spend money. However, comma um y'all know if you use the target will app that every time you spend money and you use your app um you get like one percent cash back it's not a lot but over time it definitely builds up so i have almost thirty dollars built up uh, but there's not anything that I really want or need uh if I were gonna get anything it would be like more pajamas or something but or I could get a pair of jeans for thirty dollars from Target right i think so but i i'm giving myself like three seconds to figure it out more than likely i'm not gonna go in i'm tired y'all after being i stood up the whole time at the skate party um and then walking through the mall i'm girl i'm tired so i'm probably just gonna start up my car and go on home um but i really have a taste for like a slushy and Taco Bell is right over there, so I might well give me a slushy. Because I have a, I don't know why, I just have a taste for a slush. But usually, that Taco Bell is out of all the good flavors. So I don't know. I kind of just need to go home, drink me some water, and and get dressed. I mean, undressed and dressed for bed. That's what I need to do. But anyway, I just want to tell y'all about this because y'all were wondering.
Okay, hey y'all. So, we're in my closet. Um, I told you guys that I was going to... Oops. That I was going to show you some of the stuff that I've been getting lately. <sighs> and I'm rushing because um, I have a meeting to get to in like 30 minutes. So, I'm trying to figure out how I can set y'all up so that you can see. Okay. Um, maybe this will be better. Let's see if I do it in your nope. Hold up. Can be in the mirror. Let's see. Hold on. This is when you be trying to bootleg. Okay. So y'all can see. Okay. So let me just pick it up to show y'all this. This is the outfit I have on today. Um. I got this, uh, it's black, so you really can't, hold on, you see the ruffles, ruffles, uh, it's a bodysuit that I got from Fashion Over, and these dressy joggers I got from Express, and my sneakers are from Nordstrom, okay, so let me show y'all. Hold on. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay. Make sure it's not. Okay. So I just got um, some packages, which reminded me, because this is days later, um, which reminded me that I was supposed to show y'all what. Some of the stuff that I've gotten, right? So this is another pair of joggers. Same. Well, they're not the same. But they are from Express. Um, oh, yeah, I did show y'all these. Remember I um, had to get a smaller size? So these are them that I got in the large. So these are just dropped off. Um, let me hang them up. They came quick really quick because I she just ordered these like Saturday okay um and then here is what I got from Fashion Nova y'all if y'all follow me on Instagram y'all know that I recently cleaned my closet so I'm really trying to keep it that way let's sit back here Okay, so the first thing, hopefully I'm not out of focus because I feel like I am. And I'm rushing at the same time. I got 15 minutes to get here. Okay, so first thing is, well, they're both the same. Oh, this is, ooh, it's so long. Oh, y'all can't even see. Hold on. Let me pull it. Hold up. Oh, I love, love. This is a maxi dress. Um, look how long it is. Oh, my God. It's this really pretty brown. Um, and if y'all haven't been able to tell, I'm into like very neutral colors. Okay. Oh, I love. So, um, I love during the summer just throwing on a cute maxi dress, putting on a denim jacket over it, and keeping it pushing. So, um, I ordered two of these. I think they were like $20. Oh, this is the big one. Okay, so this is in the color Mocha. They did not have it in the extra large. But I wanted this color so bad that I got it in a 2X. Because I was like, um, it, it should be okay, right? So, yeah. I think it'll still be. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't like stretch out too much. But that's how badly I want it that color and then oh i guess i got it in black too you know how you order stuff and it takes a while to get to you and you forget um why did i get it in black i didn't want it in black but this is an actual one x so this is more my size <laughs> um it's a little shorter but yeah same dress just in black Oh, 
I'm gonna go have time to show y'all everything that I've recently got. Okay. Um, so that's that. And then I got two scarves. You know, sometimes you just um you just need a scarf to throw on your head. So this is one. I think they wanted to give Gucci vibes. So this would be really cute with this um black dress. And then I got this one. Y'all know I'm all about being prompt. Uh-oh. Being prompt and so I'm looking, you know it's only 10 minutes away. You know, I, I don't like being right on time. I feel like I'm late in this one. Isn't this pretty? This is really, really pretty. Um, I just really loved the colors. Okay, I'm going to have to fix all this when I get back. So let me just show y'all real quick. We're going to do this different. Okay, so let's start back here this is a kind of a shirt dress it's really a shirt that's how it's classified this is from fashion over so this is a shirt dress blue um it's really cute um this is a merlot is the color dress is so comfortable and super cute on from Express, that was $25. 70 wait, I don't know how what the regular price on this dress was, but it was only $25. Bucks. <laughs> this shirt I got from H&M. Yeah, H&M. Don't love it, but I just really liked the olive color. Um, And here's another, let me back up some crop cropped shirt that I got from Fashion Nova. Um, here's another dressier shirt that I got from Express. Um, oh lord, how I hung this thing up? This is a shirt that I got. Oh, well, y'all saw this. This is the one I had on the other day um, from Express. This is the other color. That I got. Uh, this is a bodysuit. I love the sleeve. Um, back up. It's a bodysuit. I was gonna wear this today, but I didn't feel like ironing it. <laughs> From Express. And then here's another shirt. I love, you know, um, the sleeves to be kind of razzle dazzled. Um, uh, From Express. And then I got this bodysuit, which is too big. <laughs> Um, I'm still going to wear it, but it's big. Got that from Fashion Nova. Whew, I'm out of breath. These um, bodysuits here, I got from Zara. So, just some really basic pieces because I am building my wardrobe um, hold on, let me show you these shorts because they're really cute. Building my wardrobe, and the best way to start to build your wardrobe is to um, fill it up with basics. Lots of basics first. So that's what I started with. Um, but these are the shorts. They're a Bermuda styled short. Um, I can't remember how much these were. 15, 20, something like that. Um, super cute on. Um, I love the distress. I love for all jeans that I wear to be distressed at least a little bit. Um, I got these in a size 15. And they fit really, really cute. Because um, I didn't have them in a 14. So I just went up to a 15. But yeah, these. I can't wait to wear these because they're so cute. But yeah, y'all, that's um, pretty much, I think, um, every all of the clothes that I've bought lately. I'm going to show y'all this dress. I showed y'all this. I can't remember if I showed y'all or if I showed Instagram. But I've had this a couple of few months. And um, 
I don't know if you can really see on camera. This just is heavy. Um, but I got this from an Instagram boutique. Can y'all see the sleeve? Let's see this. It is just the cutest. So it's a denim dress. I love denim. It's like a midi dress. Um, so cute. I've never worn it, obviously. I got it from the brand label. It's called the brand label. So cute. Very well done. There's boning in it. It's beautifully lined. Like this dress is everything. But I don't go anywhere. Um, we're going to change that. But I don't really go anywhere um, to really... Um, okay, can I hang this up without it dragging the floor? Huh, I think I'm going to fold it. Um, hell, I got to figure that out when I get back. Because um, it's so long, I don't want to hang it regularly and it hits the floor, touches the floor. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. I just wanted to show y'all that because I had promised you guys that I was going to show you the little things that I have been purchasing. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I probably will start up another one. I'm trying to figure out, do I need on lashes? I feel like I do. Because I have like a few lash extensions left. <laughs> And I put on mascara. Ugh, I just feel like my eyes feel naked. But I don't know if I have time to put on lashes. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I don't even remember what this vlog was about. Or nothing. But I'm going to end it here. And hopefully you guys will see me in another vlog next week. I have some really exciting... <sighs> I'm tired of holding this phone. I mean this camera. Um, I have a really dope content idea that i'm not fully going to share yet um but so i think it's a really really good idea and uh hopefully by the summer um i'll be able to kind of release it and you guys get to enjoy and really see into the lives of not just me but other um melanated entrepreneur females um so yeah hopefully just keep y'all fingers crossed send you know positive creative vibes my way um so that we can actually get this pumped out but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end it here and i'll see you guys in the next one